just starting it off? Yeah. I guess we are. Hello, everybody, and good afternoon. My name is Rick Utzer here with the Aragon Web for the Aragon Expo. We are starting our second day of studio segments, and I've got something really special here. Sue, it's really good. No, I'm serious. I'm just <laughs> kidding. It is Angie. I'm goofing around here. <laughs> oh, you know, it's been a long day already. So, Angie, good to have you here. Now, you had something kind of excited happen, exciting happen to you with ATN. What are you now with ATN? I am a pro staffer. Yeah, and how did that happen? Um, very nice people. <laughs> very, very nice people. I've been using their products and... There's actually a guy named, um, first I met Gene Wisniewski, who is an awesome hog hunter. He's also a pro staffer for ATN, does a great job. And then Mr. Phil Willis, and he actually offered it to me a little while ago, maybe a couple years ago, and I was like, nah, I don't think I know enough. But <laughs> I got in contact with him again, and he said it was still up there, so I took it and yeah. love it. Yeah, I mean, and we're really doing a lot with ATN. I talk about we as an Aragon Web Media Group uh, because of Angie's work with ATN and her hunts and the stuff she does with them. So the reason we got her up here, I love ATN products. I've had them for years. Uh, but Angie's really been putting out content with ATN, not only just scope content, but also using the binoculars, which I really want her to talk about as well. So we're going to kind of go over what we have here on the table and if you have any questions, you can go right to the Ergon Expo. Well, actually, you can go to atncorp.com. But on what we're talking about here today, you can go to um, the Ergon Expo, look up ATN because they're one of our sponsors, and you can go and see all the cool stuff, and you can get in contact with them right there as well. Um, before we get too far into it, I want to say thank you to Gateway Airguns and also Airguns of Arizona for sponsoring this whole shindig along with our other sponsors. So, Angie, what do we have here on the table today? Well, before we go further, if you guys have questions, you guys can ask now. I'm not going to promise that we we'll do our have best. an answer, but yeah. yeah. We'll do our best. So we have a lot of awesomeness on the table. Um, I have had the x 4K Pro 3-14. Th to 14. That's the first product I got from them, and it's a night vision scope. Um, it's very sweet. I've not had experience with the 5-20, to 20, but it's basically the same thing. You just get a longer range with the 5-20. to 20. Um, I also have the Thor 4 which is the thermal, and I don't know if you guys seen it, but I was so super excited when I got that because I love to hunt, and <laughs> I love does. to hunt day, <laughs> night, it doesn't matter. The capabilities of the night vision, this is day and night scope right here, yeah. hunt day or night. With an IR light, night, awesome. This one, more compatible with night. Daytime you can still do it, but the heat signature is not picked up as well it's you could probably up, do it like an environment like a cold weather environment yeah like if you're in vermont <laughs> in a snow, in a snowstorm uh, or something <laughs> and you could probably see heat but here in texas when everything just gets hot it's just everything is what is you lose all the contrast because of that so yeah, and in um, south carolina it's hot and humid yeah, so that doesn't help probably have the same thing in south carolina i'll tell you that my experience with atn has been really good um they have a couple different lines. Like we've got, what is the new line? It's L something or other, LVT? LTV. LTV. And that is on the, what we have on here. Okay, so that is a slightly simplified version of their Excite 4K Pro, we, excuse me. Because we had a lot of people asking. Um, it was The other was too complicated for them. So I think they listened to the consumers and they simplified it for you also. Yeah, and it still records, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. It still does recordings. That's the thing I really want. I. I'm really not a guy who's going to use, probably not use, the ballistic calculator and all of that other stuff. And th for range finding, they've got another thing we'll talk about. And I, I don't know if it's compatible with this. I, I know it's compatible with the 4K Pro. And the Thor. Okay. So I'm not sure about that. Okay. So it looks like it, well, I think it looks small. But we'll ask them. But we do have the auxiliary uh, ballistic laser. And that talks with the scope. Because what I found is when you're out hunting at night or with any of these sort of uh, optics that... I don't know, they just, it's a very, very flat. You lose depth perception very quickly. So you're looking at an image, is that 25 yards? Is that 75 yards? I can't tell with an air gun, you really need to know how far you're shooting. Yep. So having the built-in um, laser rangefinder has got to be awesome. We're going to get those rigged up and do some night hunts here before we get done with this week, which we'll bring to you, the, we'll bring those to you after the event. So 
Which is really great because, I mean, hunting, things are unpredictable. You can have a bait site ready and, at 50 yards, but the animal may come in a different place at 75. So you really need to be ready for, not that you would, not all air guns you'd take a shot at 75 yards. Most of them, I try to keep it under 50. Yeah, especially the big boar stuff. Yeah. So out of all of the products you've played with, I know you love the four. I know that is like for night vision. Yes. But you do a lot of day hunting, and that's where you've you've really really enjoyed the Xite 4K Pro. I want you to tell me a little bit about how much you like the binoculars, because I don't actually I actually don't have a set of those yet. <laughs> I hope yes. to get a set. But I've watched some really good footage on your videos where I'm thinking, where did she get that footage? How did she get that? And then she says, you know how I got that, and I'm listing out all the cameras that she could possibly yeah, use. Yeah, I let him go on and on and on. She by did. The way. She did. And it was, she was actually getting footage right out of her binox, which is really impressive because it was good footage. I so, think it's a good excuse, guys. Um, your wife wants a good camera to record the youngins playing in the yard or whatever. That's an excellent yeah, idea. Yeah, tell them you're buying it for the family. There you go. I love it. I love <laughs> it. We'll, we'll get to. Um, all right. So when it comes to the, the scopes themselves, what are some of your favorite features? Like, I know we haven't done a lot yet because we just got these. So we're working on those, but they have the same basic feature set, recording, one shot, zero, all of that kind of stuff's in there. Yeah, the buttons on them are a little bit different than the other, so it was a little um, different for me to get used to. But for first-time users of ATN, um, you get used to this and you're fine, and it really wouldn't be that hard to get used to. Okay. Um, my favorite features, well, I like the one shot, zero, and especially right now with mm. an ammo shortage. Yes. One shot, zero is, it's super important. Um, I like. Could, could I ask a question? <clears throat> sure. What is a one stop zero? One shot zero? One shot zero. I mean. Well, I can describe it or you can. You want to go through it? Go you want me to do it? Okay. Yep. So you, you just, we should talk about profiles too, because you have your profiles yeah. you save on SD cards. So we'll get to that. So you have maybe five or six of your favorite guns. Um, and you, you could buy five or six ATNs. I'm not going to say don't do that. Uh, they would love me to say, go buy five or six. But knowing that that's not practical, you can move your scope from one to the other, and you always are going to need to check your adjustments. It's just something you need to do. So you put it on your new gun, you take a shot, and let's say at 50 yards, you, you aim here, you hit here. So what you do is you leave your aim point here. You bring up your, you zero your reticle, you leave, you, you stay aiming where it was, and then you move the other reticle to where you hit and then you save it. And now your scope's lined up, so your next shot should be right in the bullseye. Yep. And it's unbelievably faithfully accurate. I mean, sometimes you still gotta tweak it and fine tune it, uh, obviously. Rick, is, is that done digitally? They, yeah, they have a, it's all a dig, it's all digital zoom. Okay. Okay, so you have on these scopes, you have a, a an adjustable objective, just like on a regular scope. Okay. You have an adjustable eyepiece so you can focus on the screen. Okay, because it is a, a, a electronic viewfinder inside. Okay. And then you have um, a digital zoom. Now, I was shooting, were we shooting this one the other day? I thought the digital zoom might have been a little bit better. I didn't find it break up as much. Because when you zoom in digitally, it's like zooming in on a JPEG, you know. It gets grainy as you get closer. Right. So that's what happens. Is so if you zoom all the way in, it can be a little grainy. Um, but, I mean, it's still... Again, you really need to understand that this is a scope that you're going to take hunting. This isn't a scope I would take to shoot bench rest. No, I did a video on that, the difference in the... Um, it's a big difference. Digital and... Yeah, an optical scope, scope yeah. for pure accuracy is what you want. A digital scope, especially if you plan to record your footage, mm -hmm. that's a feature I love. It goes, boop, done. You put, if you remember to push the button, you're going to get the footage. It's that easy. And if you're shooting a gun with enough recoil, it does have the automatic recoil recording, yeah. which I'm not remembering what that's called right now. Recoil activated. Hey, like thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably here. Uh, there it is. Recoil activated video. Yep. Yes. Guys, what is the minimum range you can use the scope at? I think 10 yards. 10 yards? I think so. With all of them? I mean, I don't know about the five. I don't have a lot of experience with the five to twenty either. We're going to actually rig up. We've got some guns that we're going to be using the rest of this week, and we're going to be putting some ATN products on. We have them charging up right now, which we got to talk about the battery life too, because that awesome. is enormous. Because yes. 
between the first generation and the second generation was <laughs> um, it's a big deal. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I don't know about the, the larger Zoom ones, but the 3 to 14s, I think you can go down to 10 yards, Travis. I think okay, you can. That's, that's fantastic. Like if you're ratting, like if you want to yeah. shoot, like I'm going to, just because I can, take my Umarex Fusion 2, which is a, like a $150, CO2. $60 CO2 gun, <laughs> and drop one of the, the, one of the, the low ones, LTVs on it. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be just ridiculous, first of all. But I'm going to do it because I think it'll be that much because fun. Because you can. Yeah, it'll I, be fun. I have a chipmunk issue at my house. And oh. they, only, they only are there until early in the morning. And early in the morning, they'll come out from under the house and eat. Yeah. You know, forage around. And that's when I could get them. But the light is terrible then. And they're yeah. so small, you know, it'd be nice to shoot something, you know, in the 10 to 20 yard range. Well, I, I think you could do it. Yeah, I've mounted this on with my. a small bore. Yeah. I've mounted this on my Woods Walker 22 mm -hmm. cal pistol. Yeah. And went squirrel hunting with it. It really? was absolutely perfect. Oh. Yes. And they're not that heavy. I mean, they do add a good bit of weight. But. They're manageable. The other mm -hmm. cool features, like if you look at the difference between like the first um, Excite and now the 4K Pro, the first one had an integrated mount, mm -hmm. which meant it had to fit on your gun right or you couldn't use it. I had struggled with that. Like it was built like more for an AR and it worked there, but on an air gun, I never could really get it to work well. Um, but these are 30 mil tube. You can use any rings you, that will work. Y yeah. You need to make them work. They're just a 30 mil tube. So that's awesome. Battery life also before used to be horrible. I mean, you'd buy, I, I had to buy the lithium rechargeable double A's just so that I could have enough battery life to make do a hunt. Yeah, my husband has the um, Excite 2 and he bought the extra battery pack, which was like 80 bucks. And mm -hmm. then I got my scope and he was so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> because that, the battery life goes 16 to 18 hours. Yep. It's, it is really wow, that's impressive. huge. And it's, you know, you talk about weight, but as somebody who films my, our hunt, my hunt, when you um, compare it to carrying the weight of this or extra camera camera equipment, uh, good point. I prefer this. Yes, got a question? Yeah, what is the what is the lightest one way? You know, I don't know. It's probably, it's probably the, the LTV. LTV. Yeah, what's the LTV? Do we have one out? Um, not mounted. Mm, I'm not it should sure. Should be on the box, maybe, huh? Mm, that would be a stretch. You can keep talking, and I'll. I can keep talking, and, right. and you can guesstimate it. I will. I'll okay. guesstimate it. Uh, why don't you hand me? We've got some hawk scopes on the table, so let me kind of guesstimate it between a a hawk. A known entity. A hawk. That's. It's really. It's. It's going to be a couple pounds. We see. This is a. Hush. It's not that different. No. Um, I don't think so. This is a, a. Vantage 30 wide angle first focal plane. One of my favorite scopes. Um, and this has got about a. Uh, this is heavier, but it's not that. It's not like uh, heavier. What do you think, Angie? I was asking. I was handing it to you. Oh, so I you thought give me you were giving me back. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't tell much of a difference at all. It's a little different, but not, not much. Hold on, let me switch hands. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, not much. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think it's that big of a difference between the two. Here, you go, Angie. Um, so that is, you know, it's, now I think this one is heavier. Yes. And then when you add the light, it's heavier. So you start adding things to it, you start going up in weight. Yeah, this is the light that comes, that's a stock light, but you can get other, ATN has other IR lights that. Do, do you need the light for the, for the scope to function? Only to function at night. Only to function that's at night. So, so you have to have it to function at night. So yeah. really okay. what we got here, I mean, if you look at what we have, there's night vision. Right. Which is like starlight. Okay, now that is a different technology. I, I understand. Okay, that. you know that. Yeah. Well, our viewers probably may not. I didn't understand it until right. recently. But you have like the military starlight scopes, which are, they actually accumulate the light, the residual light, and, and make you a picture, right? And then you have an infrared camera that you flood the area with IR light that you can see. Right. That's what these are. Sure. So these are IR cameras with an illuminator. Uh, my Canon camera we're using right now uh, has that feature built in. So when I go and hunt at night, I take that camera, I rig up a, an infrared light with it, and I can uh, film in HD at night because it takes the IR filter out of the way. This is, that's what these do. The thermal is, again, a completely different technology. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So 
if you want to use it at night, you got to have the light. You, you were mentioning about um, mounting those scopes with the 30 millimeter rings. It yes. looks like the rings that are on there are very specific, or is that something that you found online that you just like? Those actually come with it. Yep. Oh, okay. I mean, it comes with it, right? Oh, okay. So, but if you want to do something different, you can. What those are designed to do, you've got it where it kind of cants back and goes up and yeah. connects. Um, but you can actually, if you have a rifle with a long enough receiver, you can just put, and this would actually work. You could tie it to the rail here and tie it to the rail here. I see, I see. So it's just a matter of, they come with these. But mounts. they do come with those rings. Yep. So that's, that's fantastic. They actually have quick disconnect, a uh, quick disconnect mount you can buy as well. Okay. ATN does. Now back to the one shot zero and the part you love. I don't move my ATN scopes from gun to gun. I beg and plead and get on my hands and knees to ATN and says, please send me more scopes because I don't want to move them. But you move them. You actually learn how to do this next part. Tell me how you work the profiles. Well, you can create different profiles on your scope, but what I prefer to do is I just get different SD cards and I um, create the profile on the SD cards. I label it, I put it in a little slot to keep it safe, and I know what gun and what pellet that's going to shoot well with. And I have not had any experience at all with take the SD card out, put the scope on another gun, put the right SD card in for that particular gun, and it's spot on every time. So, so. when you're talking about making a profile, Angie, could you walk me through that procedure, how, how you would do that? It's in the settings. Oh, okay. I can, um, I can tell you. Create I, a profile. Yeah. It's, it's, if you can imagine a Windows program, Okay. Okay, so imagine a Windows program with a menu across the top. And then each little each little drop down has things that deal with it. So display mm -hmm. deals with display, yep. settings deals with settings, uh, system deals with system is where your profiles I guess would be over in the systems or or one of the, I don't I don't do the profiles it's Angie's thing. But you have all these menus that you just go down pick what you want and then change it as you need to. Um, you can do like you're saying that's actually not a bad way that you just I'm shooting my gauntlet today. Mm -hmm. I've dropped the card for the gauntlet and it's got that profile stored already on it. Uh, today I'm going to shoot my my Rex. I'm going to throw that in over there and you just have a chip for it. It's pretty cool. Because okay. I do switch it a lot. Yeah, so the profile is based off the one shot setting? Well, it could be anything. I mean, once you zero it for the gun, you then store that profile. And but you, you can enter in like the velocity, the weight of the bu the bullet, all okay, that. Okay, so there's, there's, there's a a bunch, of, a bunch of information that can be added to the profile yep. for whatever ammo. Yeah, because sometimes I'll shoot it on the same gun, but I have a different um, grain of pellet. So I'll have a profile for the same gun with a different grain pellet. I, I see, I see. Yeah. And it changes your zero then. Mm -hmm. It can. It actually, if you have the, um, and this is where I, I really want to play with the laser rangefinder, because if it can integrate with the laser rangefinder and know that's 75 yards out, and it can automatically adjust for my point of impact without me having to figure out which little hash mark I got to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be all over that. And so I think that's what I'm excited about playing with the rangefinder. Well, it really decreases the chance of you wounding animals too. Yeah. You get a better shot. We might as well just go ahead and talk about it since we're already talking about it. Okay, go for it. it. Um, well, I want to hold it. Oh, you want this right there? <laughs> you know, we got two of these. Yeah, the other one's still in the box. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so this is the ABL 1000 laser rangefinder, and there, there. <laughs> okay, and it mounts on. It's compatible with the um, Excite 4K Pro as well as the Thor. Um, either one of these. I'm not sure about the LTV. I don't think so because it actually comes with these, which are the adapters to connect it. So, and it has one for each of the scopes. And what you do is you would... Um, unscrew this? Yes, unscrew the Allen screws right there. Open this up and this whole piece comes out. And then you lube this, screw it onto the end. This opens up and you just cap it on and it goes like this. Yes. Gotcha. Or, or you can also mount it back here. So if this might be a little too long for some people. Sure. You might want it kind of in the same length of the scope. So you have two options of mounting, but it does what Rick said. It, um, it adjusts for the distance of the target for you, you so uh, you don't have to try to guesstimate. Could you give me a price point on that and, and on the scopes? 
I actually don't know the price of the laser, but I can tell you a rough estimate on the scopes. Okay? All right. I'm sure they're listed on their website. They are, okay. very much. And you can get anything, again, like we were saying earlier, anything you want to know about these products, the, uh, both on the Ergon Expo, we have their, their vendor page, but we also, you can go to their website, which is atncorp.com. Um, you're looking at the Excite 4K Pro is a seven to $900 range, give or take, depending on what you get for features. Yeah. The um, LVT, LTV. gosh, I'm going to get that right one of these days. I LTV think. is going to be a couple hundred dollars less. Um, the four, they have different versions of the of the four as far as the thermal, depending on the sensor. So you have a, a lower resolution sensor and a high resolution sensor, and the high resolution sensor is up in the two thousand dollar range, and the lesser is in the fourteen, I think it's thirteen, like twelve hundred dollars for the lower one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's like twelve or thirteen for what I remember, and then a couple thousand for the for the more expensive, better one. The AVL, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure on the AVL, uh, but that would be a good thing to find. Maybe Sue can look the AVL sensor up, and then she she's can. On, let she's you guys on their know. website right now. She's so already. She's ahead of you. She is already on it because she knows how to do this stuff very quickly. And the Binox, I'm not sure about that either. They also have those in thermal, which she, I would love to get my hands on those. Of all these, of all this stuff, into the uh, into the chat chat bar. Okay. Go so soon. you can click on there in the chat bar and then find the price and the specs I'm of. I'm not finding it. What is what? Is, you said ABL. 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 ABL 1500. 1, this one's the 1000, but either one. That's refurbished. Yeah. That's the only one I'm finding is the refurbished. Well, we know they have them refurbished for 250. Yeah, so. So, three something. Yeah, so okay. I think that it, I don't think it's a thousand dollar part. No. No, 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 no. So, no. heck no, it's not even close um, to that. Three hundred bucks. There you go. They actually have another product that they didn't send us that okay. I would like to try. Um, it's a clip-on oh, yes. night vision optic. You put it on a traditional scope, and it turns your traditional scope into a night vision scope. Really? So yeah. that would be really cool to check out. Yeah. I think that's thermal, too, isn't it? Was it thermal? I'm not sure. I don't think so, we'll but I don't know. we have to talk to Steve. Yeah. I don't know. No, we'll we'll really hunt it up later. We don't want to talk about stuff, stuff we, have we don't have. <laughs> yeah. But that I did see that at SHOT Show. We talked about it. If you go back through Ergon Web Footage, from SHOT Show when we had it, um, that would have been 2020, is that right? Mm, uh, 2020 no. show? 2019. Yeah, because... Oh, yeah. 2020, 2020. When COVID hit, wasn't it? Oh, but it was after. Right yep, yep. Right. Oh, that's right. Then. So it have been 2020. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so 2020 show, January. we'll get our dates right. Uh, we did, I actually had an interview with Steve and we went through that exact device and it does just right onto your, so you hunt all day with your regular optic, regular sighting, yada yada. You want to hunt at night, you just pop this on and now you can hunt at night. It doesn't record, but it does allow you to see at night, which yep. is awesome. Yep. So. Some people don't want to record. Some people, like out where I'm at in South Carolina, there's a lot of farmers out there that deers are, deer are, deers, <laughs> deer <laughs> are pests. And you get um, a permit, you can go out there all night and pop the deer in the cornfield. and. They might not necessarily want to record their shots, so that's perfect for them. Right. And that's also where, like, the, the basic L TV. TV you got saves, me questioning myself now. Yep, it's yeah. LTV. <laughs> Saving a few bucks will get you the same functionality. Um, yeah. But save a few other bucks, which is kind of cool. Now, I'd like to, the thermal, I killed um, a nice buck this last deer season with the thermal, and it was awesome after I shot it. Now, not every shot is a drop them shot. And, and honestly, most of them aren't. You gotta track them a little ways. But this guy ran about 40 yards. But in the thermal, I got to watch him go in there into the bushes and I saw him fall. That was so exciting. And there's not a whole lot of hunting around. And especially with air guns, you don't always get a blood trail. Mm -hmm. So being able to track them in that sense is beautiful. This one did leave a beautiful blood trail. I shot it with a TC-45. That was awesome. Yeah, but slammed him. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Yeah. If you guys want to see that video, it's on my YouTube or your YouTube channel. It's on one of ours. Yeah. Aaron Webb, yep. Yep. So. Go check it out. Guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. If you have more you know, questions about ATN Optics, obviously they've got a wide array of very cool 
see at night, hunt at night, film at night type products. And as a content creator, both of us as content creators, it, we have found it extraordinarily difficult to be able to find a reliable way to film your hunts and film the stuff. Now, there are various ways that you can rig, finagle things to the side of your scope and make it do stuff. And I've tried a bunch of those and I've used some of them. But I always come back to ATN. I'll give up a little of that micro precision because I'm not a bench rest shooter. I'm shooting big bore normally in those situations. I'm, I'm not looking at, oh my gosh, I'm a quarter inch off. If, if the hog says, you know, I would have died for you, but you were a quarter inch off. Um, I'm just, I, that's not where I, that's not me, okay? So if, if I'm banging that size of a kill group, that's going to be a heart and lung no problem. So that's me personally. Well, I've and, had super success, perfect um, shots with the ATN. Yeah. And I, I shot a doe and it went right through the front shoulder, straight through the heart, and yeah, it was that. beautiful. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's not precision paper shooting. I mean, stacking them on top of each other like a lot of other um, optics would, but it gets the job done for sure. And the reason I talk about that precision is actually because of our uh, our our audience, right? Because mm -hmm. air gunners are precision shooters. They, we have a competitive shooter in the gallery over here, and you know, a tenth of an inch matters to him, right? A tenth of an inch could be a win or a loss. In a competition you know and for us oh, for me I'll speak for me I'm not that serious about it um, I want to film my hunts and this lets me film my hunts very easily and it's actually really affordable and I don't have to go through some weird finagling like looking over my scope handing I mean I don't have to go through any of that stuff I just look through the scope and take my shot and I'm good to go so for me I love ATN. And when you record at 120 um, FPS on the it's nice slow -mo. sweet slow-mo yeah. footage, absolutely yeah. sweet, sweet slow-mo footage. So uh, there's a, a lot of options. A couple of technical questions. Um, so when you're going to go out there and you're going to film your hunt, uh, you find your prey, um, is, do you have to push a button or something for the recording to start? Or how, how is it actuated? There's two ways you can do it. Okay. It does have recoil activated video. So it will, it has, in that state, it's recording all the time, mm -hmm. and it just saves when it feels, feels the recoil. You can tell it, I want so many seconds before I shoot and so long after I shoot, it records that automatically. Okay. okay. Or, most, or most air guns don't have enough recoil to yeah, set it off. Yeah, I bet you the big boards would. I bet yeah. you the TC45 or the hammer, or the pro, I don't know, we could try it. I just have never used that function. I wonder if it's, a, I wonder if it's adjustable setting for the recoil. I haven't found that yeah, it is. Yeah. Or I just, there's a one button. There's one button for picture and one button to record. It is, you don't have to go into the menu and do anything. You just so push one a button. button. Record. That's a good point. You can take pictures with it too. Yeah. It's not just video. You can take pictures. No. Um, do they sell directly from their website or do they have vendors? They do both. They okay. have a very aggressive, if you're a vendor wanting to sell ATN, great company to work with because they protect their dealers. Uh, through aggressive map restrictions and pricing. So um, they really want to keep the, the field fair so that everybody can do well selling their products. But you can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them at Pyramid Air. Do you guys, I'm looking over at Larry at Air Guns of Arizona, do you guys carry ATM? They don't carry ATM. Um, but a lot of vendors do. We carry it at Air Gun Pro Shop. Um, and so it, you can buy it from dealers or you can buy it from direct from ATN. I think the price is going to be pretty much the same. How, how about the warranty? What, what kind of warranty are we talking about on these? I'm I mean, pretty they're, sure fairly, they're fairly expensive. I think you're looking at a one-year warranty one year. on the unit. Okay. But there is a Facebook page. It's ATN HD Smart. Did I say that? ATN Smart HD Owners Group. And awesome support. I mean, they have pro staffers on there ready to answer questions okay. all the time. And if for some reason you don't get an answer as soon as you'd like one, you just type in Will ATN or at Will ATN and that tags them in it and they'll get back with you. But it's an awesome group to be a part of. Okay. I can give you an example of, I've got a, a, a bunch of them that I've used for years. I have the old, my old Excite in the drawer down here. It still works and it's been beat up. It, they are rugged. They do sell these in some capacity to foreign military applications. So these are scopes that are built to take a beating. Okay. Um, 
they are hardened in the sense of they can be in weather. Yeah. I wouldn't submerge it, but it can be in weather. Um, you have uh, a, the great support. I had one that had the, the compass uh, gave an error. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, do this. And I did it. Of course, you know, Rick knows best. Did you know, uh, not really. Uh, and I sort of did it. I, I calibrated it. Well, did you do this? I, I, I hadn't done it. So when I actually did what they told me, you know, they were right. <laughs> I think you just like flip it like this well, mine and then didn't, like this that, and then like this. See, that's what I did that didn't work. He said, well, do it, rotate it 10 times every direction. And that causes the mechanism to fully reset. And I did that. And you know what happened? It worked. It worked. Bingo. <laughs> and, you know, they have good firmware updates. And if it ever locks up, you hold the power button down until it completely shut maybe 20 or 30 seconds it will shut off you turn it back on you're back up and running so but the new it's 483 um, firmware update make, make sure you get that one that stops it from freezing up so okay do they um do they have a removable battery that you recharge or is the battery in in it's the internal. unit it's an internal lithium battery okay yeah. and how long did you say it lasts for about 18 hours wow the thermal, I don't think, is as long no. as the um, night vision. Um, it, I'm not sure. I think it's like 12 or something like it's that. A it's longer than you'll be hunting. And you mm -hmm. can take it out for a weekend of hunting, and you should not run out. Of and here's the thing that I loved about the new, I don't know if you're going to say what I was going to say, the new version of it, the x 4K Pro versus the old one. From the time I hit go to the time I have reticles to record and take a shot is less than 10 seconds. So from dead cold off, not like standby, but off, hit a button, 10 seconds later, I can be taking my shot. Really? Now, I know that's an eternity in a hunting situation, but if I think something's happening, I could be ready in 10 seconds to take that shot, which is, that is very cool. It doesn't have a long boot time. So. Generally, you see your game and you've got yeah. that time to get ready to take that shot. Um, one other thing, the ATN, they all are compatible. You can... Um, connect them to your smartphone and look at the phone and see what they're seeing in the scope at the same time, which is sweet. Same thing with the Binox. I was at the Fox 10s um, looking at some coyotes through the scope and I gave uh, my friend the phone and they were watching what I was watching, wow. which is really awesome. So someone could actually record on your phone your hunt as well as record on the... Haven't tried it, but I was just thinking that, Travis, yeah. whether or not we could uh, yeah. record footage on a secondary device Absolutely. Uh, might be something. I actually have something we could try, and maybe in my off time, <laughs> uh, I can try it. Yes, Sue? Are there any lighting situations that they have problems? They talked about that in the beginning. Um, I think on the four, it has problems if it's just hot everywhere. Yeah. you got to have a, a heat contrast between your game and your surroundings. So their Thor will not do well in just hot. Mm -hmm. And Joe is falling asleep. Over there recording. <laughs> Wake up, Joe. Wake up. <laughs> well, the, the night vision, about dusk time, it starts getting a little pixelated without the IR light, but you just switch the IR light on and it's fine. So, right. Um, but I actually, you can see for quite a while when the sun starts going down at dusk without the IR on. Yeah. On the Thor? What, what's the magnification of, on the Thor? I think they have two versions of they that. Do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, much like the other one, so... Oops. I got one here. I should probably know. So this. I've got the lower quality sensor here. They've got four different ones, Travis. Let me read them off to you. So I've got. I mean, they could go to the website. I was just. Yeah, curious. no. If for your curiosity, they have two different sensors. So the expensive sensor is a 640 by 480 sensor, and in thermal land, that's like quad HD. Just so you know, okay. that's a lot. Um, they have a one to ten, one and a half to fifteen, two and a half to twenty-five, and a four to forty. Really. So I, if I have the one that's saying I have here is a four and a half to 18, um, I was up on the upper pipeline road. You guys don't know where that is, uh, but Travis may know where it is. I know exactly it's where way it is. up on the upper. <laughs> <laughs> you were actually, you were the next road to, anyway, you were close. And I can look down from there. I can see the entire valley or hundreds and hundreds of yards and pick cows out of the field um, from hundreds of yards away. I'm just laying down in the brush. Okay. So then that is the lower resolution, four and a half to 18. So Fantastic. really good for a consumer thermal. 
I like it. It's, um, it's, it's hard to believe because this technology just a few years ago would have cost 5,000 bucks. Well, money. and it still does. It just depends on which one you buy. I mean, ATN's made it available bucks. for yeah, it pretty much anybody. It's extremely expensive. Yeah. And one thing I'll say with regards to the ATN that um, if you're interested in the ATN products, take time to read the manual. Yeah. And also take time to reach out to other owners because if you're not a techie, I am a tech guy. I love computers. I love menus. I will look through my camera menu just to find new features I hadn't found before. You know, I pull out my old camera and just so, look, it'll do that. I That's me. That's not everybody. Yeah, that's he very, tries to talk to me about these techie yeah. terms and I'm like, Phew. Yeah, like Angie, did you know you could plug your phone in to download video? What? Yeah, I mean, it is it's one of those things that, uh, that's me. I like that stuff. I'm going to choose to still love you, Rick. <laughs> Thank you. Um, not everybody does. Not everybody has that. Not inclination. everybody loves you. Yeah, well, that's for damn sure. <laughs> uh, and ne neither am I easy to love. Uh, but not everybody has that inclination. So if you are not a techie person, if you're not a computer person, if you're not a guy who's willing to take... Or a girl. Or a girl who's willing to take 30 or 40 minutes to kind of learn the system, get help. It takes longer than that for me in some things. You know. If you're a guy or girl that takes years to learn the system, <laughs> uh, no, just get help. I'm assuming they have quite a few YouTube videos then. They do. They actually have done very well which, with YouTube. Which for me is great because I can pause and take a break if I get over sensory overload from looking at too much information at once. Well, Valentin Bogan on YouTube, he has a lot of really, really good information on how to operate all their products. Okay. But if you're not a techie, it seems like the LTV might be the way to go, simplified version. It is. They've answered I'm looking forward to the shoot. I've, sh I've shot it a little bit because we were setting this gun up for a hunt. Um, and looks like ATN to me. Yep. So I do like it. I don't use any of the advanced features. So if it's, if it's simpler and lighter, I'm going to be loving it. Guys, we're going to wrap it up and get ready for our next segment, which is, I believe, Pyramid Air. Cool, we're doing Pyramid Air, and i got some cool stuff to talk to you about. Then I don't know who we're going to drag up here to do that segment, but I am excited. Uh, and we're going to get, uh, we're going to rehydrate uh, Joe. He's melting in the studio here. He's barely hanging on by a thread uh, because it's warm in here today. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Stay with us. we got more Airgun Expo coming your way. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way. Go check out her stuff. It's awesome. Ergon Angie. See you guys. See ya.